Welcome to Indie Resources, 35th video in the How to Build a Browser MMO uh, series. This is Halls of Valhalla. This is actually my third attempt at this video. Um, my headset, I just got sick of it going in and out, so I had to buy a new one. So thanks to the one guy that's donated so far, you, you bought me a new headset, so I appreciate it. Um, hopefully this will sound a lot better than some of the previous videos. Um, I tried to set up my sound quality a little better too, I had some settings off, but since this is the first video after it, this will be kind of my gauge. Anyway, I know you guys are here for the tutorial, so that's what we're going to move on to. Um, what I want to do here is, uh, we've we had a lot of questions and, and a lot of inquiries on about crons on the forums. Um, a lot of people use web hosts that don't have crons, so what's the, what's the alternative? And um, that's what I want to show here. And basically what I mean by crons is, you know, a cron is just a script that runs on the server on a time and like th every 30 minutes every hour and it just runs a script a PHP script so I may have a script that I want every 30 minutes for the hit points to heal 10 hit points um, so every 30 minutes that's the server will run that script and in there it'll just be select all from players where or actually just update players um, hit points plus 10 and that's basically all it does every 30 minutes well if you don't have a cron you have to be able to you have to be able to kind of do this another way and that's what I'm going to show here and this isn't a bad way you can you can use this for a lot of things and I'm actually just going to make a script that you guys can just go in and change some variables and make it really easy for you so let's get started um, the first thing I want to do is I want to create a new uh, file new PHP file I'm just going to empty it out and I'm going to save it as run cron.php and I'm going to give you, I'm just going to real quickly give you a overview of what it is, of what I'm doing here. Let's just echo out time. And what time is, time is a function inside of PHP that we can run that gives the time. Now, it doesn't actually give you the time in a time format. And I'm going to show you what I mean. you notice it gives us a string of numbers these are seconds since and I believe it's sometime in the 70s uh, it's it's total number of seconds um, past that point I, I don't know that date I forget but I think it's somewhere around the 70s but it's it's a large number and if you notice if you hit refresh it goes up every second all it's doing is counting seconds so we can use that we can define when the player was at a at a place and then minus the current time and minus that from the current time and that'll give us how many seconds have elapsed so here's how we're going to use it we're going to we're actually going to change this and what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable current time equals and then just the time function that'll give us the current time that we're working on right now <coughs> next thing we need to do is go into our database and we need to add a place to store this so we're going to go to players and we're going to go to structure and we are going to add one and we're going to call it cron time and it's going to be an integer and I believe it's about 10 digits but I'm going to go 11 just to be safe um, I, you don't have to go more than 11 because I think it'd probably take um, probably take 50 years before it ever changed I, I'm not sure before it ever got large enough to not fit in 11 actually probably more than that it'd probably quite a bit um, so I wouldn't I would just leave it there unless you plan on your game to go for a thousand years I think 11 will be safe so we have that set, but it, there's nothing in there. There's no default. There's anything in the end. So what we're going to do is we need to test when a player first signs up. Of course, that time is going to be empty, unless you set it to timestamp it, which I'm not for now. But so first thing we want to do is we want to do a if players cron time. Now right now, nothing's telling what the player is. So let's go to index where we want to run this, and let's let's require it right here after the player's um, query has been done. Let's do cron. Oh wait, cron run cron. Whoops. <clears throat> now with this run cron, you're gonna notice, and I'll tell you what, I'll get into that in a minute. I don't want I don't want to step over anything. So let's just we'll we'll do that run cron here to where it runs before it gets into the stat panel. So we know it's running. We now have these variables available to us in the script. So now we can do our player and you know because of the way this game is set up you, you've you've got um, indexes always run a lot so uh, you can just store it in index but let's say you have a more combat based uh, game where they're they're spending more time on the combat.php page you might want to include it in there just so it updates in there as well whenever they hit that page instead of just being index um, let's do cron time 
is less than one that means pretty much if it's not set if it's zero whoops if it's zero then we need to do something and what we need to do is we need to we need to update the player and I'm gonna cheat real quick and I'm gonna grab this I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna paste it and basically we're just gonna change this to cron time to equal current time so we wanna set that variable to the current time and that looks pretty good so that's gonna that's gonna set it and pretty much we're done <clears throat> we don't want to run the rest of the script because we know there's nothing to check for so <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in an else here okay so in the else we want let's go ahead and test what we have right now real quick so let's go back out let's go to our index and this should actually set our time as soon as we go to it so it ran we don't see nothing but let's see what we have in our players now and you can see it set the time and if you notice that 123 if I hit refresh it should skip over resetting it and it should stay 123 and if we go back to players and we scroll over 136 it actually set it so let's let's try that again did I mess up my code somewhere 147 yeah so let me look at my code real quick not there um if cron time oh there's the problem bam forgot my three so <clears throat> if we now check it it should remain 147 refresh uh, refresh our player and it's remaining 147 now how do we use this now let's do a little let's add to it else <clears throat> let's say um, let's say uh, time past equals this cron time it's going to be current time minus the cron time and that's going to give the seconds left so it's the current time minus the last time the player hit that and just to show we can do an echo time past and let's see what happens. It's going to echo somewhere weird up in here probably because where I put it. But let's refresh. See, it's 71 seconds has passed since in 73. Just keep in refresh. And it's actually counting how much time has passed. So now you can see we can do a lot with this. Um, what I want to do is I want to, I want to check, I want to create some variables up here. We're going to call these static variables. These, these are the ones that you're going to change for your game and for your script. Um, let's call one of them um, cron time and this is going to be the total I tell you what let's let's make a separate one um, for now let's just call it um, HP time and basically how much time do you want to pass before you want to heal and I'm gonna say 30 seconds only because we're doing a testing and I don't want to wait longer than 30 seconds I don't want to but remember everything is in seconds so if you want it for five minutes you're going to, have to put 300 seconds you want for for an hour you're going to, have to put 30 3600 seconds now let's put health I tell you what to make it easier let's call it healed health this is how much health every 30 seconds are going to be healed I'm going to put 10 hit points so you guys can come in here and change this to whatever you want after you get the script and kind of put it in your game <clears throat> um, so what we want to do now is we want to do a check if um, time passed is greater than our HP time then we want to run the script and then we'll do an else here in a minute but for now I'm just gonna do this and basically we're just gonna copy this again actually we take this one up here and make it a little easier so if the time passed is greater than the the cron time the, the total time that we set here, the 30 seconds. So in other words, if 30 se if the time pass is greater than 30 seconds, we want to update the cron time to equal the current time. We want to reset the timer, but here's the thing. We don't want the player to be able to heal more than their 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 max hit points. So then, then we need to do um, total health equals the player info three h points, I believe it's called. plus the HP or healed health 
and that'll give us the total. So we want to say if the total is greater, if um, total health is greater than player's inf player info three's max hit points, because you don't want them going over the max. And I need to put a max in there. I believe it's max HP, max hit points. Then I tell you what to make this a little easier. Let's keep it on the same line. Um, total health equals the max. So basically, they healed up to the max. I guess I could be shortcut key in this, but oh well. Um, else, we want it just to be total health. You know how much ever the, the health is. Um, which is already set, so we don't have to do anything. So now that we have this there, um, now we can just add that in there. Uh, and H points equals total health. And there we go. And I need to put these in here. And I believe we're good. And I'm going to... Let's test this out. <coughs> As I don't have any errors. So right now my hit points, you can see where the green marker is, and I'm hoping this gives me enough to, to show it. I don't know how many hit points I have. but um, So when we refresh, we know we're over 30 seconds. So let's hit refresh. Oh, we got something. Undefined max hit points. Yeah, I, I kind of figured what's it called. It is max HP. I don't know why I named it that. but Okay. Let's refresh. And we're dead.